Hey everyone, it's Patty here, and thank you so much for tuning in. You have probably found us because you've finally heard about something called Candida albicans, and you figured out that it could be causing some of your troubling health problems. So in this video, we're going to talk about what is Candida exactly, and why is it making me so sick and causing all these issues. So the one thing to really understand about Candida albicans is that we all have it. Every single living human being and animal all have Candida living in their gut and it's there as a yeast and it has a function. It's there um, to serve us to help digest excess sugars as well as to help us digest toxins. Now what happens is that Candida albicans is a dimorphic organism which means it has two forms. In its yeast form it is relatively harmless to us um, unless it starts to overgrow and you get a yeast infection or thrush or something like that. And that's where the danger starts to happen because um, at some point the candida, especially when it's overgrown and when the body has developed a certain environment that triggers the mutation function in this yeast, the candida will actually mutate, actually morph into a fungus. Now in nature the reason why this happens is when our immune system stops working, aka when we die, the candida actually will turn into the fungus and rapidly rapidly spread and actually help digest us and give us back to the earth. It's part of the fungal kingdom, it has a purpose if you've ever seen um, you know my cat brings rats and dead animals sometimes and if you don't see them right away and you let even a few days go they turn into this fungal thing and that's basically what candida does so what happens is that because of antibiotic use because of a diet that's really high in sugars and processed foods and toxins because of environmental toxins the candida will start to overgrow and the candida will start to mutate into a fungus when it turns into a fungus it starts to grow these filaments they're like sprouting these things and it will actually poke your intestines and, and cause leaky gut and actually escape into your bloodstream. Now once candida has escaped into your bloodstream, it definitely starts to mutate into a fungus and it spreads and it'll attach to places and then it shows up in places like in our head, in our neck, in our shoulders, in our joints and it can cause all of these um, these different symptoms or pain that has now been grouped into kind of groupings of um, symptoms like fibromyalgia, like endometriosis, like what I experienced. And um, if you see the intro video that we have, you'll be able to see my story with candida and how I went from very sick to well. But um, basically with the candida, once it gets into your bloodstream, it just has a field day. It is much... Um, more resilient. It is almost impossible for our immune system to get through, whereas in the yeast form, our body takes care of it. it. It pushes it out, and that's where you see symptoms like yeast infection, thrush, skin rashes, acne, things where it's actually pushing that white yeasty stuff out. Now, when it's turned into a fung fungus, it develops a chitin layer or I was pronouncing it wrong, chitin layer, for a while, and um, that's like a hard exoskeleton, and so this is where it starts to become um, more harmful to your health. It creates adhesion, and that's why people experience a lot of pain, painful joints or arthritis. Um, you know, sometimes people experience migraines or headaches because of candida, and then some people have irritable bowel syndrome. So what happens is that candida, when it starts to infect your bloodstream and find its way into these places in the body, and it prefers places that don't get a lot of oxygen, so it prefers an anaerobic environment, 
Um, so it moves into those tight spaces, um, but when it does that, it actually puts strain on your immune system, it puts strain on your lymphatic system, your body is constantly trying to get rid of this invader, so you're constantly in a state of inflammation and stress. And inflammation, as many of you who have found this video probably know, can cause a host of different symptoms and it really depends on the individual. And what happens is when you have this autoimmune breakdown because of candida invading your system, you're going to break down at your weakest links. And that's why the symptoms are going to be very different. For different people. So that in the most basic nutshell is what candida is and why it's causing you these problems and um, we're gonna be posting a new video every week so please subscribe to our channel and um, stay tuned. Can't wait to give you all of this information that basically I use to heal my body and reach the probably best health of my life to date in my life. I'm in my 30s and um, Candida nearly took me out. I am on the other side of it. It is really a pastime. It doesn't affect me the same way and I'm going to share with you everything that I've learned over these last few years that helped me get here. So again, check out our other videos and please subscribe and I can't wait to see you next week.